study. Another keynote study, it's called Keynote 890, with TAVO and Keytruda in patients that failed either chemotherapy or immunotherapy. So very sick women with triple negative breast cancer. Um, it, with breast cancer, patients can, will get a mastectomy um, uh, um, depending on the circumstances of the breast cancer. And sometimes that can be a, um, a, you know, a, a, a complete mastectomy or a partial mastectomy. Um, but unfortunately, um, the tumors can grow out you know, where the breast used to be on the chest wall lesion, on the chest wall and they become chest wall lesions. We can treat those lesions and have been treating those lesions. So um, we think we have the potential opportunity to give TAVO to patients with triple negative breast cancer that have lesions that are now presenting on the exterior in some instances where the breast used to be on the chest wall um, and, and create an opportunity for those, those women to get a benefit not only from TAVO but from the combination of TAVO with um, Pembro. And so triple negative breast cancer tumors are generally considered very cold, immunologically cold. So lacking those cells I described earlier that are needed when you systemically block the checkpoint w um, to, get a, to get a response to the checkpoint. So again, we, have, we think we've got a really keen opportunity to immunologically inflame that triple negative breast cancer tumor and then bring Keytruda um, you know, right next to that so that we can you know, not only block systemically that, that checkpoint and open up the immune response, take the breaks off, but do it in a, in a tumor environment that's now receptive to checkpoint inhibition. So again, coming in, taking that cold tumor patient, which TMBC, triple negative breast cancer, is notorious for, right? Those checkpoints don't work very well as a monotherapy in triple negative breast cancer. So they have a very low response rate, meaning in a very few number of patients, they're shrinking tumors. So, and again, why is that? It's because the tumors are not considered to be, you know, receptive. They're cold. We can change that cold tumor process, bringing IL-12 into that patient's tumor, inflaming that tumor, not only that tumor, but systemically getting the immune response going. Um, and then again, you know, bringing the checkpoint next to that to enhance the patient's opportunity to get a response.